St. Mary's Carisdale is celebrating 100 years of grace in 2011. The parish, a cornerstone of the neighborhood, began worshiping in a tent. Our Christian community has offered worship and praises to God since 1911 and has grown to be one of the leading Anglican worship centers in the Diocese of New Westminster. The parish is well known as a place where many lives and life events are honored and celebrated. We are known as a sacred, welcoming place in the community. The parish has a long history of outreach and compassionate ministry to the community. Locally, we visit the sick and shut-ins, welcome newcomers, and offer pastoral care to those in need. And every week we offer a community meal. Globally, we do mission work in El Salvador and support the Diocese of El Salvador's Human Rights Office. Our parish community is framed in four life-giving priorities. Worship, youth and families, outreach, and financial sustainability. As we look forward to the next century of grace, we are focusing on two of these priorities, worship and outreach. We plan to renew our liturgical sacred space and reach out to the needs of our neighbors here and abroad. Our centennial campaign theme is Sacred Spaces here and there. So sacred space is in a, in a sense every space, but it's where are we aware of it more? It's not that God is limited to creation. God is within the, what we see around us in creation and transcends that. I mean, as, as we see God in creation, we also see God in our neighbor recognizing the holiness of the other person is also recognizing sacred space. But many religious traditions say to treat the stranger well because in the stranger you may encounter the Christ. Your parish council has approved a $700,000 plan shared equally internally and externally. That means that for every dollar our centennial campaign raises, Half will be spent on renewing our community's sacred spaces, and half will be spent on compassionate outreach to our neighbors. The instinct is to gather more in one room. And you've already sort of gone that way when from time to time you use a, a nave altar. But the building then ought to have some kind of statement about what kind of community do we want to become. Three sacred spaces in the church will be renewed. The narthex, or the entrance area of the church, will be made more welcoming. The nave, where the congregation sits, has an old fir floor which is degraded after a hundred years of use. It will be renewed with a new oak floor and any repairs to the floor's support structure that are needed will be done. Where the nave intersects the chancel, this space will be renewed to support liturgical and Eucharistic use of the nave altar. The planned expenditure for these church projects is $350,000. Because of the 1980s El Salvador Civil War, many campesinos, rural farmers from the war-torn, relatively dry northern regions of El Salvador, resettled in the lower delta area of the Lempa River. 20 years later, many continue to live at the subsistence economic level. The Diocese of El Salvador has been working with the help of the Crystal Cell Foundation to help these people improve their lives. This North American Episcopal Foundation has built entire communities, medical centers, bridges, wells for drinking water, and schools in the region. The parish of Cristo Rey in the Diocese of El Salvador has land given by the community and an adjacent parcel purchased for the diocese by a donor from St. Mary's in the rural community of Los Calix. Bueno, él nos está hablando sobre la iglesia y nos interesó bastante y le pedimos que si, si nos podían mandar lo que es la misión aquí abajo, al Bajo Lempa. Sabe bien lo que tengo. Antes que no existía la iglesia dentro de aquí de la comunidad, estábamos como, quiere decir, perdidos, ¿verdad? Nadie, este, no había un lugar donde nos congregáramos. Bajo Lempa. The area is strategic because it is one of the most significant places of post-war integration and reconciliation. The people have a very profound knowledge of their own reality. 
They have perspective and the ability to analyze their economic, social, political, and religious situation. Lo que a mí me, me gusta es que no tiene distinción de, de raza ni de color como de varias a otras iglesias lo hacen, que si, si porque son de una religión ya no lo aceptaba. Se dio en vista de que la, la iglesia donde estaba sentada, que era en la Canoguita, pues la iglesia no hay donde construir, pues, ¿verdad? A la, a la iglesia de St. Mary. Due to our strong relationship with St. Mary's through Crystal Sol Foundation, we know that the people of St. Mary's want to offer the church in El Salvador a concrete, living testimony that will be seen by new generations. The Cristo Rey project is a monument to our solidarity and a great opportunity for our relationship with St. Mary's to grow. One of the things that's exciting about the project for us is the possibility in these communities of doing something much more than just building a church. That we're not just building four walls where people can go to pray, rather we're uh, presenting a project in which five different communities can unite and develop a center that ultimately can be a center for religious, social, cultural, and even economic development for the region. We plan to build a new sacred space that will strengthen the community and give the people renewed hope in the future. Our goal in this centennial campaign is to contribute $175,000 to the construction project that will give hope and a future to the people of Cristo Rey Parish. This permanent building will be a church and a small residence for a permanent priest. St. James Community Service Society is a broad-based community social service agency offering aid and assistance to those who are marginalized and in need. They plan to build a new 52-bed shelter called Powell Place Shelter for Women. We plan to contribute $175,000 towards the building of a new kitchen in this facility. Some people's uh, image of a homeless shelter is uh, a mat on the floor, is coming in late at night, getting a bowl of soup and leaving the next day. And to a certain extent, that's kind of what we do. I mean, at the very basic level, we provide a safe place for people to stay. But I think that what we're trying to do, and I think what the system is trying to do, is, is evolve that uh, idea. And what we are really about is trying to end the cycle of homelessness. For many years now, uh, women have been very vulnerable in the downtown east side and very vulnerable within the broader homeless population. So the space that we're in right now is the original power place shelter. Uh, it, it has 26 uh, beds in, in, in double rooms. Uh, for many years St. James in the winter was providing what we called cold weather beds. We were very lucky, building on the success of the program, to have the offer from our funders, BC Housing, the provincial government, to, to double the, the capacity of the permanent service to, to 52. We're rapidly finding that the, the notion of someone who is typically homeless is changing and that there isn't a typical homeless person. We're trying to create a space where women can come in uh, and, and feel safe feel listened to, feel heard, and feel respected. And, uh, and I think that there is a sacredness, I think, about creating a space like that. Uh, this is an expensive project, several million dollars, um, but the, the, the power it has when local groups, um, particularly, I think, faith groups and community groups come together and say, we're gonna contribute something very significant to this. Uh, it gives real, uh, credibility and emotional push to the fact that this is something that cannot wait. So I think the, 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 the message to the parishioners of St. Mary's is um, a huge heartfelt thank you. Y esperando de que eh, se pueda realizar este proyecto y nosotros estaremos enteramente agradecidos con esto y no solo los miembros de esta comunidad sino que todas de las comunidades alrededor. Now it is our time to continue the work of our forebearers by marking the centennial year with the renewal of our sacred spaces and contributing to the building of sacred spaces in our neighborhoods. You are being asked to prayerfully consider a significant gift to support the renewal and creation of these sacred spaces. With your help, we begin another century confident in the continuing grace of God as we honor the past and prepare for our future, building sacred spaces here and there. <laughs>